want to see this. Yeah, that's what you're going to see. Um, right, this is the new setup. Well, that again, I'll give a change. Produced over 11,000 tons of zinc ore. That Well, they've stopped the traffic, so someone coming Yeah, the coming over. Yeah, the traffic's coming over. Uh, uh, that's probably the fun stuff in the news. Yeah, it's right to take a temporary section after these points, but we're not on the third rail. You can see it disappears. Oh, that's me. It's the
crossing Solgan Reservoir on the right. Beyond it are two hills with a small gap between, and through there you'll see Peel on the island's west coast, beyond the mountains of Morn in Northern Ireland on a clear day. So we're now on the Snaefell Mountain Railway aboard car number four, and we're on our descent down from the summit back to Laxey. Um, Unfortunately, the weather conditions were as clear as we hoped when we got to the summit. We hope we're hoping we're going to get a lovely view of uh, Scotland, Wales, England, and Northern Ireland, of course. But unfortunately, the weather conditions changed and it wasn't to be. But it's still spectacular up there, so it's. But we're on our descent back down the line now. Um, and we're, we're heading back to Laxley, and we'll be, we'll be heading out to Ramsey next aboard the uh, electric railway. The next stop is Bungalow Station. The light here is on that road. Nobody for Bungalow Station.
what an incredible day that was traveling on the Manx Electric Railway and the Snaefell Mountain Railway here on the Isle of Man. It is absolutely hard to believe that those railways are not heritage lines but they are actually day-to-day -day lines and all those vintage trams are still in regular revenue service. It is absolutely hard to believe and they are two absolutely incredible railways. It was a fantastic day. Now, fair play to the people that run those two railways. They are absolutely incredible. They've done a marvellous job keeping those vintage trams in service and in regular day-to-day -day use. Now, the railways don't actually run all year round. There's certain times of the year when they don't run. Literally, the time I, you know, at the time I uh, was doing this visit, it was the first week of their season for this year. So, I'm glad that I have uh, made the opportunity to travel on those railways. So after we came down from Snaefell on car number four on the Snaefell Mountain Railway, we changed again at Laxey and got on the electric railway again and went to Ramsey. We went on car number 21. After taking a break in Ramsey, we then travelled back from Ramsey to the other end of the line and the start of the line at Douglas on car number nine. Now car number nine, in my opinion, was the best tram of the day. I looked at the information sheet on board her, to, you know, trying to find out how old she actually was, and car number nine dates from 1894. And it's still in regular service. That is incredible, so it is. She was a lovely tram to travel on. And it just wrapped up a brilliant day traveling on those two railways. Absolutely incredible. Now, tomorrow, the, the vintage field continues as we head to the Isle of Man Steam Railway. Now, once again, just like the Manx Electric Railway and the Snaefell Mountain Railway, the Isle of Man Steam Railway, again, is not a heritage line ran by volunteers. It is actually a regular line in day-to-day -day use. Now again, just like the other two lines, it doesn't operate all year round. So tomorrow should be fantastic travelling on the Isle of Man Steam Railway. I'm really looking forward to it. But today was incredible, travelling on the Electric Railway and the Mountain Railway. So I hope you've enjoyed the coverage that I've done of the trip on those two incredible railways. And stay tuned for the footage from the steam railway tomorrow.